How to revert a pushed commit in Git. I'll be using VS Code to visually demonstrate how the code is affected by the Git commands. We begin with five commits pushed to our remote branch in GitHub. First, let's git commit and git push. I'll add a change. Change number one, committed, git commit hyphen am, change number one, and now git push origin main. We can see in GitHub the pushed commit and the matching content, so now the remote branch has six commits in it. There are two options for reverting a pushed commit. The first option, make a new commit which reverts the last one and then push it. In the history of your branch, you'll have two pushed commits, the original commit and the one which reverted it. This is the right choice for public or shared branches as it creates a new history which can be shared with colleagues versus completely deleting a commit which other colleagues may be dependent on. For this option, we'll use git revert head. In the tab that just opened, we can edit the reverting commit's title and description. Let's close it and now the revert is done. Now let's push the new reverting commit we just made, git push origin main. We can see in GitHub that our commit was reverted and now there are seven commits in our remote branch. In order to present the second option, let's go back in time to when we had six commits in our remote branch and we did not revert anything. The second option, delete the pushed commit. In this case, you'll have zero commits pushed in the history of your branch. This is the right choice for private branches as no one else may be dependent on the commit you are deleting. For this, we'll use git reset head tilde 1. Note that we are left with the commit's code, but now it's unstaged. We could have also deleted the unstaged code with a hard flag, meaning git reset hyphen hyphen hard head tilde 1. In order to make the delete count, we'll have to force push it. git push hyphen f origin main. We can see now in GitHub that the commit was never pushed and we are back to five commits only in our remote branch. And that's it. If you found this video informative and helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.